Hi guys. How are you all today morning? Good morning. Today is 17th December 2023. My name is T S V Raghavan and I live in Chennai Tamil Nadu India This is my spiritual vlog on YouTube Har Dhan H A R D A N हर दान हरी बोल टी आर एस वी नेक्टर एन ई सी टी ए आर नेक्टर इन दिस पर्टिकुलर ब्लॉग इन ऑल माय प्रीवियस वीडियोस वी हैव बीन ट्राइंग टू डिस्कस the knowledge and information that we have gleaned through the study of spiritual books scriptures contemplation on the material universe and meditation on the spiritual universe this particular video in this blog is no exception to that rule in fact it is a mere continuation of all that we have been trying to do in all my previous videos kindly subscribe to this vlog and press the bell icon so that i may keep reminding you of all my previous present and future videos let us continue with the topic of discussion for today's video in the past few videos we have been trying to discuss a very important term in the psyche and the life of every human a living entity whether male or female in this material world this term is known as mind according to shrimad bhagavad gita the part or segment of the great hindu epic mahabharata lord krishna the supreme personality of godhead has declared that this mind is the main driving instrument of this chariot known as the human living entity this mind is equivalent to the engine of every vehicle or machinery in the mechanical line in the absence of the engine of any vehicle or machinery that particular vehicle or machinery becomes redundant and is equal to the value of scrap similarly when this mind is absent as an instrument and driving force of any human a living entity that particular human a living entity whether male or female becomes redundant and the value of that particular four layers of material body of that particular human living entity is 
as good as scrap as soon as the mind of a particular human a living entity whether male or female stops working this particular living entity immediately drops his or her gross body to the terra firma and the three remaining subtle bodies vanish along with that particular subtle mind into the space of nothingness mind is the subtle form of a mass of tissue called brain which is safely embedded into the gross body of every human a living entity whether male or female this brain is the gross form of this subtle mind vibrations from the three subtle bodies of a human a living entity namely the causal body of logic and intelligence the astral body of mind feelings and emotions and the etheric body of five senses namely sight hearing smell taste and touch are sent or transmitted to this mind this mind which is subtle in nature can be only felt but not seen by the naked eye of every human living entity whether male or female when these messages arrive to this mind it further transmits it to that mass of tissue called brain which is the gross form of this subtle mind this brain processes those vibrations and selects only those vibrations which are conducive to the destiny karma birth upbringing surroundings atmosphere taste preferences whims fantasies cerebral faculties education maturity and experience of that particular living entity this is a continuous process that begins 9 months before that living entity is born into this terra firma and ends when the same living entity stops living in a lifetime in the same terra firma in a particular birth in other words during the complete lifetime of a human a living entity whether male or female vibrations from his or her mind are transmitted to this brain continuously this brain selects some of these vibrations processes them and extracts a particular jewel which it percolates down the gross body of that particular living entity this living entity whether male or female acts according to that juice thus percolated down that body by the same brain these vibrations their selection thereof their processing 
and the extraction of a juice as mentioned before depend on several factors here i would like to add that this particular process or phenomenon happens to every human living entity whether male or female who belongs to this society and lifetime in this material world so there is no exception to this rule mind is present in every human living entity whether male or female however there are broadly three categories of living entities 75% of living entities live in a trance or walk around like zombies vegetating in life thinking complacently that they have come here only to enjoy this life completely and to squeeze every drop of experiences in this life they do not want to do anything else than this there is one marathi proverb translated into hindi eda bankar peda khana that means keep vegetating in this society and hope sanguinely that something well or positive will happen to you according to your own destiny or luck this is what happens to 75% of the society which does not want or refrains from contributing anything positive or negative to this society however 25% of humanity still remains this 25 is further bifurcated into two categories one is the 20% which worships the dark negative forces of this material world and the other is the cream de la cream of humanity which consists of 5% of humanity who are superior enough to worship the positive forces of this terra firma both in the material form as well as the spiritual form we have discussed case histories regarding this 5% in my previous videos we have however begin begun discussing about those 20% who worship the dark negative forces in some of my previous videos in that process where we condescended on discussing case histories pertaining to such specimens of humanity we are talking about one such specimen called Anthony Strollo alias Tony Bender we talked in detail about the sudden disappearance of this Tony Bender from his residence in Staten Island one night either in 1960 or 1962 we discussed the reason in detail in my previous videos however 
to conclude it further i would like to talk in detail about this particular case history now let us continue as they say facts are stranger than fiction there are several occurrences in life which happen without being controlled by the society or by the humanity nobody knows how it happens in this case also such a case happened in the year 1897 in the year 1897 in the month of november two boys were born in very different families in very different provinces in the same country called italy in europe one boy called salvatore lucania was born on either 11th november or 24th november in a family in a village called larcara fridi in the province of sicily in southern italy another boy called vito genovese was born either on 3rd november or 27th november in a town called naples in the same italy on the southern side neither families knew each other at that time and neither was aware of the existence of others but however as this ironical fate could have it these two boys salvatore lucania and a vito genovese had their own quirky destiny and twined with each other and that is precisely the reason why both families migrated to new york and new jersey in the united states of america new york and new jersey are adjacent but separate cities however by the time both salvatore lucania and vito genovese became 16 years of age they happened to come together and face each other in a career devoted to crime which is a part of the dark negative forces that i mentioned before we have already decided on talking about these negative forces at that time when both were 16 they remained only acquaintances and were not very close friends however both were knee deep into the thriving underworld of the <coughs> italian crime business in new york and new jersey slowly vito genovese who till then was in new jersey gravitated towards new york where 
Salvatore Lucania was already living. Here they got in touch with each other when they started to work in different criminal gangs headed by two very different gangsters from the same Sicilian province of Italy. One of them was known as Joe the Boss Maseria and the other was known as Salvatore Maranzano. Even these guys worshipped the dark forces of this material world and both were career criminals already at the helm of the respective gangs when Vito Genovese and Salvatore Lucania came to join those gangs. Soon enough, Vito Genovese became an underling in the Maseria gang. However, Salvatore Lucania, who was also known as Lucky Luciano, preferred to remain independent. He did not want to join either gangs. However, the awesome Joe the Boss Maseria forced Lucky Luciano to tow his line and to work for him. It is during this period that Lucania came to know Vito Genovese and the underboss of the Maseria gang called Gaetano Tom Reina. Now, in my yesterday's video, we were talking about one particular soldier in the Mafia known as Joseph Valachi and how this Joseph Valachi was suspected by Vito Genovese of framing him into becoming an inmate in the Leavenworth State Penitentiary for 15 years. We shall connect that story with this one so that we will understand the mind of all these players of underworld even better. Now coming back to our story. Salvatore Maranzano, the other gangster in the Italian underworld in New York, hailed from a village or province called Casala Mare de Golfo in Sicily. Maseria, who also hailed from Sicily, belonged to another province. Both these gentlemen who worshipped negativity came to loggerheads with each other when they began confronting each other in New York, in the United States, in the underworld. This Joe the boss Maseria was senior to Salvatore Maranzano in New York. Actually, he had taken over a gang initially established by one man called Pete the Clutching Hand Morello. Now, Castle of Mare the Gulfo 
सालवट को मरांडानो बेगन गर्निंग फॉर सुपीरियरिटी इन द अमेरिकन अंडरवर्ल्ड इन न्यूयॉर्क एंड दिस मसेरिया डिड नॉट लाइक वन बिट अ गैंग वॉर ब्रोक आउट बिटवीन दिस टू वॉर लॉर्ड्स फ्रॉम Sicily in New York Vito Genovese was an underling in the Maseria gang Now Lucky Luciano also started working for Maseria At that time prohibition was declared in United States of America by the American government legal sale of liquor was suddenly prohibited in the year 1928 1929 and 1930 this was to go on for another two or 3 years these gangsters from the underworld took this as an opportunity to start smuggling a liquor for illegal sale of liquor in the city maseria maranzano vitto dinovis Lucky Luciano, Gaetano Tom Reina and other gangsters joined in the fray to smuggle and bootleg liquor. In this business they made money hands over fist. This increased tension in the underworld and gang wars between gangs became very common to get a superiority over smuggling and sale of liquor in america during this time there were and there were several fights brawls killings and maimings between these two and other gangs one of the gang belong to ebner alas eb longi zulman of whom we have already discussed in one of my previous videos however during this gang war Salvatore Lucania alias Lucky Luciano huddled up with other gangsters of his generation and decided that they should act in such a way that this war comes to an end as early as possible because this bloodshed was bad for business Gaetano Tom Reina was second in command in Jo the Boss Maseria's gang he was immediately after Jo the Boss Maseria the cunning and clever lucky Luciano tried to double cross maseria he suggested to vito dinovis to kill the same gaitano tom reina and blame the murder on salvatore maranzano reina used to visit his aunt every thursday and have dinner at her place one night when he went there had his lunch and came out 
he saw Vito Genovese standing there. Gaetano Tom Reina waved at Vito Genovese. Vito Genovese waved back, took a Italian pistol called Lupara and blew Reina's head off that very moment. We shall continue with the story in my next video. This is all I wanted to talk about in this particular video. Kindly let me know what you think of my talk on this subject and case history. Please give me your expert opinions, thoughts and ideas so that I may blend everything together for the sake of this society. Before concluding, let me remind you that I am also a published author with Amazon Kindle and a paperback. I write on spiritualism, fiction and assorted subjects. Spiritualism happens to be my favorite subject. Till we meet in my next video, it is good morning from T.S.V. Raghavan.